let us discuss uh, in various mechanisms of transfer of substances and cells. In this case, neglecting the information that is usually provided in biochemistry and physiology courses on various mechanisms of molecular transport using, using uh, osmosis, diffusion, uh, active, uh, passive transport, uh, ion channels, uh, etc. Just the histological uh, uh, links. I will mention the endocytosis first. The endocytosis either uh, occurs as phagocytosis which is transfer or uh, or intake of solid particles the, uh, the cells, the phagocyta, phagos phagocytes are surrounding the particles These particles could be for example bacteria or some dead cells. In bacteria they are often connected with uh, immunoglobulins to form clusters. This would be a phagocyte. And uh, uh, after surrounding they they are in, take, taken in to form a phagosome which might eventually jo uh, fuse with the lysosome with uh, degradation enzymes and be processed accordingly. So this is intake of some solid particles. The phagosomes, uh, sorry, the phagocytes will be either macrophages, various tissue macrophages, or microphages, which are neutrophils. Sorry, neutrophilic granulocytes. Macrophages are professional. Phagocytes, uh, they can do this again and again. The neutrophils are very fast, but have a low capacity uh, to to perform the phagocytosis, and they usually die, becoming a part of the pus. Except phagocytosis, we have also pinocytosis, which is an intake of uh, liquid. Uh, particles, either there could be a non-specific uh, pinocytosis or receptor mediated pinocytosis. It involves formation of uh, the so-called caveole on the cell membrane. Here it can be various droplets. Caveole, this is cell membrane. And after ingestion, the droplets appear inside in a temporary uh, organelle called Zone. Receptor mediated uh, pinocytosis involves uh, formation of receptor pit they are uh, there are uh, receptors there so specific receptors that recognize some particles in the fluid in the droplets and with helps of molecules called clathrins that are from inside the cell and help to organize these pits 
a coated vesicle is formed that has the clutterance on its surface temporary, temporarily and contains the particles, the liquid, the liquid droplets that have been taken in. So these are the clutterins molecules involved in the formation of these of these uh, cavities, and this is a coated vesicle inside the cell. Let's discuss briefly the exocytosis. Well, most of the mechanisms have been already uh, discussed in the in uh, in the part talking uh, or describing the the. Endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi complex. Okay, so briefly, there is synthesis in the granular endoplasmic reticulum. Um, the substances that have to undergo exocytosis are modified in the Golgi complex. So various uh, post translation modifications undergo here and also a coating of the vesicles, so formation of the secretory vesicles. And uh, they are transported um, using molecular motors which are molecules such as dynein, kinesin, or myosin along the cytoskeleton, along the microtubules and they fuse, these vesicles fuse with the cell membrane. Let's mention transcytosis. In transcytosis, the cells are ingesting some vesicles and releasing it on the other side. So if we got, for example, lining of capillaries with very low permeability. So here are two endothelial cells and it's a type of capillary with very low permeability such as in the such as part of the blood brain barrier or blood air barrier. Uh, these endothelial cells are lining that capillary and here is the tissue surrounding tissue, the endothelial cells form transcytotic vesicles and are selectively taken in and released outside. So the substances are transported across this uh, continuous capillary as the one, the type with the lowest permeability. Another example from the human body would be in the intestine where we have the regular intestinal cells called enterocytes but we have also special cells called microfold cells or M cells and they form this intracellular space And if here are is is a uh, is lumen of the intestine, we know that that uh, that proteins and lipids are actually destroyed before resorption. But these M cells, 
microfold. This is one of these. So I can take the whole antigen and without destroying it, perform the transcytosis and offer these uh, antigens to immune cells that are waiting here. There could be lymphocytes or antigen presenting dendritic cells that could be stimulated the immune response of which could be stimulated by these antigens so these are uh, cells uh, involved in the specific immunity So this is intestinal and epithelium. Another mechanism is empiripolysis. Which basically means presence of whole living cells inside or within another cell. This occurs in endothelial cells, for example, it's nucleus of endothelium here, and uh, some immune cells, such as neutrophils, have the ability to enter inside, come across and leave outside. So here is blood, this is endothelial cell, and this is a neutrophil, neutrophilic granulocyte traveling across the cell. So empiripolysis is a presence of a whole living cells within another cell. And let's also mention a mechanism of trogocytosis. Which is transfer of cell membranes among cells. So, for example, there is one immune cell that is offering its antigens to another cell. This could be antigen presenting cell, and this could be, for example, some lymphocyte, such as the lymphocyte, and the antigens that are offered here. taken in with the whole region of the cell membrane. So this, this whole part comes in and later on the cell that, that has taken the whole uh, compart the plasma compartment with the antigen may expose these antigens on its surface or use it in any other way. So it's transfer of cell membrane proteins or whole parts of cell membrane. Thus, the target cell obtains surface molecules taken uh -huh. from the from the other cell, surface molecules or part of the membrane. 
So there's a whole variety of transfer mechanisms in histology.